The legendary A.J. Foyt not only won the Indianapolis 500 four times, but he's also a Daytona 500 champion in the world of NASCAR. Foyt is now a team owner, which includes the number 14 car of Takuma Sato in the IndyCar series. We caught up with the Hall of Famer in Fontana during testing at Auto Club Speedway. I'm always in the background, but uh, I've been letting him do all the work and call most of the shots. I still have to call the payroll shots, but uh, that's what I'm good for. But uh, all in all, I think he's put a good group of guys together. And, you know, we started off with a big bang, and then we had some problems in the middle of the year. And we hope to turn it around with the Houston race coming up, my hometown, and here. So we're looking forward to having the last couple of races be real good. Well, Riverside was a road course, and I spent a little time out here in the hospital after that and did come back and win the race, but uh, this racetrack's a lot like Ontario. You know, I, I think Ontario was way before its time. Uh, it was a great racetrack, a beautiful racetrack. Uh, unfortunately enough, I was Jim Macri and my other car won one year, and then I was lucky enough to win it again, and uh, I still have one of the Ontario trophies. When I sat on the pole there, it was a Coca-Cola truck with a small bottle of Coca-Cola. And I was scared the off was going to outrun, you know, the Ford engine that I had. But uh, fortunately enough, I did sit on the pole, and I'm still proud of that trophy. It's one of my favorite trophies I've ever won beside the Indy 500. But uh, for sitting on the pole, it was a great trophy. And like I said, it sits right there in my house. Other questions? And comparing the track, pretty much, I would say... Uh, I would have to say that I'd say all three of them were different from today, you know, because Ontario was more like Indianapolis. Uh, and this track, I would have to say, you know, I've never run it, but just with the car is more of a, a D shaped track, a big D. Uh, and like Ontario, really did have four turns in it, so with the short straightaway. So, like I say, turn one here, you know, is kind of a big turn, then you got three and four, so. It, they, I'd have to say all three tracks were a little bit different. I mean, the road course was a lot different, but between Ontario and here, it, it, there was a, quite a bit of difference. Well, I think, you know, it's just going back to a racetrack, I know where we run stock cars and run Indy cars was like at Milwaukee during the fair dates. You'd run stock cars during the week, you know, like Thursday, and you'd have a group of people. And then on the weekend with the Indy cars, you have a group of people. You had some people that went to both races, don't get me wrong. But you had two different types of racing fans, people that love the stock cars, and I think people love the open-wheel cars. But uh, I think the funniest thing I heard was the other day that I guess they were talking about Montario coming back because he couldn't make it in NASCAR racing. And it's on a talk show, I guess. And uh, they said, well, he's going back to Indy cars because he couldn't make it in the... Uh, stock cars and I get somebody else call in and says well have you realized who's won all your races over there and uh, I guess the, the fan whoever it was said no we don't said you know Jeff Gordon I said yeah you know Tony Stewart yeah you know Jimmy Johnson yeah you know um, oh, Casey Kane yeah said you realize them are all open wheel boys it's been winning your race over it hadn't been just stock car boys so I thought that was pretty good. I didn't hear it. A person told me that heard it, and I thought that was pretty good. I was offered a Formula One ride, but I didn't like the way they, you had to wear a tie for breakfast and things like that, and I didn't care about their food over there. So, And that's when Copenhagen was sponsoring me, and they said, if you want to go over there, fine. But uh, I never cared for Formula One. I've watched a lot of it. I think it's good racing, don't get me wrong, but it's just... I mean, my favorite race, to be honest with you, is what Tony Stewart got hurt in the other day. It was fav a half mile on a dirt sprint car track with a lot of power. Uh, to me, uh, that's the most fun racing a driver can have in his whole career. And a lot of these boys that never drove a sprint car don't know what fun is. I'm Pep Fernandez for the Press Enterprise and PE.com.